Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing pictures that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these pictures. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of to make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel. Please check the link in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. I woke only to find that the rest of the world was still asleep. Leonardo da Vinci Have you wondered why there are only two planet images? Why celebs have tattoos of the planet Saturn? And it's all over the music, movies, buildings, apps, etc. Literally all over the world. The masses are clueless, but those pulling the strings behind the scenes are keenly aware of Saturn's worship. Saturn is a lunar god of underworld, or better known as Satan. Observing the lines formed by iron filings on a sheet of paper placed over a magnet, it allows us to study where the electric field passes and its intensity. The video experiment uses iron filings and a suspended magnet. When the filings are hurled upward towards the magnet, the magnetic field is revealed, thus proving the existence of these lines and their toroidal geometry. The torus is the geometry of the electromagnetic field. It is nature's way of life, at all scales. It literally surrounds all life forms, humans, animals, all atoms and all cosmic bodies. We all exhibit an energy flow in the form of torus. Natural phenomena such as hurricanes, tornadoes, cyclones, wind and water vortices, present their vortices in the form of the torus flow. It is the primordial form of existence, and how the universe manifests itself. Understanding the behavior of the electromagnetic field is important for the new green technologies to be created. Programmable clothing of the future. Or more like a walking banner ad. It looks very uncomfortable, but in all seriousness, who would want to wear this? This is ancient temple in India, is truly one of the wonders of the world. The entire temple was cut out through solid basalt bedrock from the top to bottom. The archaeologists have confirmed that over 400,000 ton of rock had to be cut and removed, just to construct this temple alone. The temple was carved from top to bottom with supposedly only simple hammers and chisels with perfect precision. It's a work of art to say at least. Judge for yourself, is that even possible for a civilization that came out of Stone Age? Even with our modern technology, the Colossa Temple would be extremely difficult to recreate. It's one of the most mysterious places on Earth that poked the finger in the eye of mainstream history. This is where we start asking questions. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Our feet are connected to every body part and organ. Massaging your feet before bed can direct prana, and stimulate different healing processes in the body. A lot of people are having difficulties handling their life situations at the moment. Unplug from all the crazy global current events and just simply work on yourself. Do things like grounding, meditating, praying, detoxing, fasting, drinking clean water, deep breathing, stretching, yoga, and anything else to maintain your highest vibration. The General Electric Building is a skyscraper at the southwestern corner of Lexington Avenue and 51st Street in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. The building was supposedly completed in 1931. Are we to believe they finished building this in the middle of the Great Depression? History is a x.
Frisland, also called Frischland, Friesland, or Fixland, is an island that appeared on virtually all of the maps of the North Atlantic from the 1560s through the 1660s. The same cities, towns and rivers, are named in different maps. What could have happened to it and its people? Old World Burma it seems they couldn't build enough of these amazing structures. A lot of them left to crumble now, but seemingly the spires were very important. Scattered throughout the country, and in the middle of forests, most left abandoned. I mean, who would build all these just for the sake of it, or even for worship, you would just build one or two here or there, not thousands. The Plain of Jars Laos very unusual and in many different sizes. A lot of other strange things to be found there. Unfortunately, it's the most bombed county in the world per capita, US military, which makes exploring very difficult. Giants. You decide. Mycenae is an ancient city, located on the fertile Argolid Plain, in Peloponnese, Greece. According to Greek mythology, Perseus, son of the Greek god, Zeus, and Dany, who was the daughter of Acrisio, the king of Argus, founded Mycenae. When Perseus left Argus for Tiryns, he instructed Cyclops, one-eyed giants, to build the walls of Mycenae with stones no human could lift. This is where Cyclopean masonry comes from, as it's a type of stonework found in Mycenaean architecture, built with massive limestone boulders, roughly fitted together with minimal clearance between adjacent stones. Was it really one-eyed giants who built this? You decide. The Lycurgus Cup an amazing piece from the 4th century Rome, in which a glass cup was caged in a metal frame. Depending upon the light that strikes it, the Lycurgus cup appears either red, when the light is on its back, or greenish, when the light is up front. These unusual optical properties are due to the presence of small amounts of nanoparticles of gold, silver, and copper, dispersed in the glass matrix, which causes light absorption. What is even more striking is the fact that the manufacturer of the Lycurgus cup was 100% unaware of nanoparticles, surface plasmon resonance, and particle size at the time. So, it was just all luck then. That's the mainstream answer for you. What do you think? Look at these polished pillars and how they shine even after 800 of years. Don't be confused, these are not made of metal, but of rock. Now, my question is, how come they did turning, cutting, polishing, and with what tools? Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.